What's up guys, it's Chris. Today we're doing another three meta builds and this time with the pig. I'll be leaving timestamps to each build down below so let's get right into the first one. I think it's only right to use the most well-known pig main CM Winters build in a pig build showcase so that is gonna be build number one. For the add-ons we have the crate and bag of gears to make survivor searches take much longer and for the perks we have corrupt to block three gens at the start of the game which allows us to get a trap on someone early on. Deadlock to give us passive slowdown in the background by blocking a gen every time a generator is completed. Save the best for last to give us a stackable cooldown to our M1 which makes us much stronger in chase. And finally, no way out to block the gates in endgame for 60 seconds. This is a super reliable and fun build and here is a game showing how to use it. Okay, the first of our three meta builds, we are running CM Winter's pig build. I feel like it's fair. He's pretty much the most well-known pig main out there and it's a good build. So, we're gonna be running it here where the survivors brought us. Fair enough. Bounce landing. Looks like this might be the one who brought the offering. Not too sure. Does she give me prio? Yeah, most survivors, when you crouch right away, they'll just leave. If they understand how ambush works. Nice. No bounce there. Very nice. Much easier hit. Yeah, I don't really want to commit to the Nancy too much here because she was our obsession. I would much rather get stacks of save the best for last. Dead hard on Cheryl. Okay, so Krupp's gonna be gone now, but doesn't matter too much. Wow, they really are trying to go for that. That's pretty crazy. Oh, that was troll. Give me those stacks, please. I don't even care if we lose this hook. Dude, the stacks and the trap on is Amazing. We're gonna get another down too. Because she kinda trolled here. I think she'll drop there right away. Ooh. Quick unhook. That was probably uh Ada. Oh my god. Okay, so he just kinda fakes every time, this guy. Yeah, he doesn't ever vault. Fair enough. There you go, bud. Sounds like it's just this gen above me. Get this wall broken up beforehand. Okay, what are we doing, fellas? That gen over there, that one's blocked. Oh, we get a lot of free pressure now. That's gonna be two active tracks. A reassurance. Instead of unhooking, they want her to just sit on hook with reassurance. That's a little cringe. <laughs> We'll take that hit and just go. I am going to stop them from getting this box right away. Yeah, just delaying her from touching the trap as long as we can without getting in chase. Because um, the double gears add-ons are going to make her head just blow up pretty much for free. This has got to be Ada. I doubt the Cheryl would be on a gen with that trap on. Right away? No. We should get that pal pretty quick. I am not respecting. I'll just eat it. It's a pretty good one. Just chains into all these windows and stuff. Yeah, with deadlock though, just the free slowdown, we can afford to kind of just harass somebody who has the trap on and she's pretty much just forced to die. I don't think I really have to pressure anymore, but I do want to make sure she does die. Stack. Hmm. This could be really good to get everybody injured. I'm pretty sure LED is just 100% dead to the trap. Really, really good. Say the best for last value here. Should be a relatively easy down since this pallet's gone. Nice! 
Uh, honestly, I'll throw the trap on and somebody should be picking Elodie up right away. No, they're just letting her bleed out because her trap was so far gone. Holy cow. Another balanced landing for the Nancy. Okay, we'll pick up now. Stop that gen from popping. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with losing a couple stacks here. Get another trap on. I'm not even going to bother with the LED. Oh, she waited. Didn't even pick up LED. They're not bothering with her either because she's just dead. <laughs> That's terrible. There she goes. Another wasted pallet. Not too shabby. Would not be surprised if he pre-throws another one. Yeah, that's kind of his MO. There goes Shack Pallet. Oh. Yeah, there's our Nancy. She's got balance too. She'll run right for that gallows area. Yep. Should be able to catch her too, I think. And Cheryl's right up here. Now we have all the pressure. She's right here. See her shadow? Mm hmm. Unbreakable, of course. Naturally. Kick this right away. Hmm. Probably not the best idea to just sprint at me there. Another unbreakable! God, you guys are fucking nasty! Blech. What the fuck is this? Second chance, second chance, second chance, second chance. Isn't that right, Cheryl? Oh, there's the boon. I see. So this is where Ada was healing. Gosh, it's just full meta goblins. I'm curious to see these builds after the game, to be honest. This is ridiculous. Good game, buddy. Oh my god, bro. It's so disgusting. Dude, that is so gross. I... <laughs> Dead Hard, DS, Adrenaline, Unbreakable on all four or what? Bro, that is so gross. Oh, look! Look! Dude, <laughs> Adrenaline too. That is so disgusting. I'm... I, there's no other word for it here. It's so disgusting. At least on the bright side, we do have no way out here. And we know as soon as we down here, down her here, she has nothing else to bail her out. Thank God. Fourteen second chances later. Oh my god, there's still more! We can take our time. Thank you. Come again. No unbreakable this time. Thank fucking god. Oh, gross. She already picked her up, too. Holy shit. I saw not one scratch mark, by the way. There we go, she's hunting in a corner. That's what we need. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's already picking her up. I think that's... 
Jesus Christ, is that hope? Jesus Christ. Ooh, let's look at these fucking builds. We had a great build. It does not compare to this amount of second chances at life. But only with this strong of a build on Pig are you going to be able to play against this many chances. It's really the build. You have to give the build credit. If we were running something chill, there's no way we could deal with the amount of bailouts this group had. There's just no way. Look at this shit, man. For build number two, we are embracing the gen kicking meta. And the add-ons we used are the tampered timer to reduce the traps timer along with rule set number two. So survivors can't see the boxes until their trap is active. For the perks, we ran brutal strength so we can break pallets and gens faster. Call a brine to apply 200% regression when kicking a gen. Eruption, so downing a survivor after kicking a gen makes it explode and incapacitate anyone working on them. And finally, discordance to be able to see any time two or more survivors are on a gen together. This is a very strong build that just adds more slowdown on top of the pig's traps to buy you a lot of time in the game. And here is a game showing it off. Help me! Okay, Ormond, they brought us here with meta build number two for Miss Piggy. Well, let's see if we can get it down semi-quick. I'm down to just straight up eat the pallets because Ormond is well known for having millions and millions of pellets. That's why they wanted to go here, make it easy on themselves. Could be balanced. Could be a pre drop ski. There you go, buddy. Mm, he's gonna give me that pellet right away, too. What? There we go. Unless there's a body block. Very nice. There was somebody else here. I think it was the Nia. I think that sounds nice, Kepka. There you go, buddy. Uh, yeah, there was definitely someone right around here, though. We can get Eruption on this gen, too, just for the future. It is a Nia. Could have swung earlier and hit that. It just seemed like the better idea is to fake, which it definitely was, but oh my god, pre-dropping very, very strong pallets this whole game. Here comes another one. Ah! Jill got her trap off first try, which not a good thing for her team. Because, uh, now, yeah, as long as we can get these last three traps on, it'll take them at least three searches minimum to get it off. Okay, Mega to take a hit in the snowman challenge, I think. <laughs> that pallet's going down pretty quick. Oh, okay. I will take that too. There you go, Meg. Yeah, two traps on right now, and they can't see the auras of the boxes until uh, somebody pops a gen. So it makes it a lot harder for them to actually get them off right away. She is keying it. That one's getting thrown immediately. Didn't have to guess about that. Weird pathing. Mm. See, now I don't wait and so I get God pallet going down. Fair enough. Let's go check on this gen real quick. Is the talent. It reeks. We're gonna go for this arena. No, she's healed in three seconds. Not that eruption ASAP. She's gonna pre-throw again. That's all she knows. Pre-throw and abuse the med kit. Really no form of skill expression there. A little unlucky. 
Yes, Serena pre through them all, Jill! All of them! The Meg who hasn't got her trap on. Big! Medkits are ridiculous as fuck, too. You know what? Uh, we might just go for this Meg. It's definitely not a bad idea. I think it might force some of them to come and take hits, too, because... Uh, I would assume they're kind of grouped up. Look at this. She's going to feed me. Feed me, Megan. Yep, she's just about run out of all the pallets. Thanks to Zarina, mostly. Good game, too. Meg. Couldn't loop on Ormond. Honestly, that's more Zarina's fault than hers. Yeah, they're definitely not the looping type. Uh, you cannot keep letting them get those. Luckily for me, I don't have to worry about too much more pre-dropping. There we go. Now they can't do anything for 25 seconds. Very nice. With uh, the 8 million pallets they've dropped, they're running pretty low at this point. There you go, bud. Looks like Zarina probably brought it as well. One more pre-drop. What's one more? Still dead, but that was not bad. Do we have an E? No. Nice. Okay. I'm glad that gen wasn't getting worked on. That could have actually gave us a little bit of trouble. So now it looks like all three of them can't really be doing anything. The Mia's just standing up there watching me do the gen. So we just gotta try and get the trap off, and Jill's hooked. Really, really good spot. Ah, what is she doing? Bought us enough time. There we go. Good game, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Zarina's medkit finally ran out, believe it or not. There we go. Good game. Good game, buddy. Hmm. See ya, Nia. Boom! So, for the third and final build, we have a hit and run style pig that really thrives on indoor maps, but you can use it on any map you want. For the add ons, we have Amanda's letter to see auras of all survivors around us when crouching, along with John's medical file so we can move faster while crouching. For the perks, we have Lethal Pursuer to see everyone at the start of the game, Sloppy Butcher so anytime we hit a survivor, it'll make them take much longer to heal, Jolt so all gens within 32 meters of us explode whenever we down a survivor, and finally, Pain Resonance so the gen with the most progress explodes when we hook someone on a scored hook. This is a super fun build as any of you guys who have used Amanda's letter before know and I definitely encourage you guys to try it out but let's get into the last game. Larry's very nice. Fortunately for us they did not get Ormond again. Third meta build we have lethal showing us where everybody's at at the start of the game which is super super helpful to help us get traps on as soon as we can. Hey peekaboo. Uh, we're actually just going to leave right away and tag up some more people with Sloppy as soon as we can. We're more playing hit and run pig here. Yeah, this build definitely does do better on indoor maps, but you can use it on any map. Which is pretty awesome. Ah, 
There we go. This one we'll put a trap on right away. Start of the game, get some nice pressure going. There it is. Yeah, of course. As always, the survivors do have, you know, med kits. Everything ready to go. Hey, pick a boo, Bill. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> that thing's a cutie. We'll let her do her thing for a little bit. Nice. Not bad, Bill. There you go. Everybody injured now, which is awesome. Really, really awesome. So now whenever we're finding people with Amanda's letter, we'll be able to just down them. They do, again, remember, have multiple med kits, so they could heal, but you have some sneak potential. Awesome. Look at this. They're everywhere. It's like a bunch of ants popped out of a fucking ant hill. Holy cow. Wait, he had dead art before and didn't use it? Oh my god, what am I dealing with? There we go, give me that. Yeah, that window's very strong. There we go. Oh my gosh, Jolt. I love you. So it looks like they are all spending time healing now, which means probably nothing happening on Jins at all. Yeah, all three of them spent time healing. Really, really good. Get this pallet out of the way too. And we're in business. We're getting really, really good pallets out of the way really early on, so. Found all of them. Look at that. Oh. Hey. Hmm. Yeah, I thought so. How are they seeing me there? Not what I expected, but I'll take it. Yeah, we want to save this last trap for a little bit later in the game, though, for sure. Just to get some pressure later on if we need it. That is the one drawback of this add-on. We only get two traps, but could definitely be worse. Perfection! That is so sweet. That is so sweet. Alright, let's get another pain res. A lot of slowdown coming out now. On the bright side, these pallets are rinsed. Very nice Amanda's letter value there. Do you think so, Bill? All right, we'll throw the trap on this time around. I think they'll be getting close to getting a gen done at this point. It's been taking them a while to get the second one going, though. There you go, Bill. We're heal again, bud. <laughs> that is, I, I don't know how that worked, but hey, that's one way you can use the add-on, I guess. There you go, Quentin. <laughs> See a build. I'm guessing this engine is just hiding in a corner at this point. Did she make that god pallet with dead hard? Oh, that's perfect timing. Let's go, Fang. Good game, buddy. One gen done with this build. Very, very nice. Yeah, it seems like this young gen was kind of hiding in corners or something. Well, you know, we could be evil. 
Are we evil? What do you guys think? What is she doing? Maybe she's waiting at a door, bro. To be honest. You little gremlin. Oh my god. You are a gremlin, man. What? Good game, gremlin. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is where you belong, Yinjin. <laughs> 